Hello, Assalamualaikum everyone. Uh, in previous class, uh, we have completed the designing uh, page in this video. Uh, go to the channel, apply list, and then uh, go to the project based training or project -based, project based training or font of sale using accounting rules. <coughs> uh, the video are present both in this playlist. So now open the playlist and click on the accounting uh, project uh, for to create application and designing form. Uh, so in today class uh, we are doing to implement uh, the database layer. Uh, so uh, open your SQL server and go to the database. But before that uh, open your project. Uh, Open your Visual Studio and then uh, continue without code. Right click, open project solution, and then go to your projects where you store your application. Uh, so now this and here uh, uh, this PC, and then go to the personal data and then uh, project uh, june july content projects and open the solution and then click on the sln file the sln file is our solution and the cs project mean that is our project so now click on your solution around cs project file now click on the solution file and uh, press uh, open button so the application is opening okay so the application is open successfully so now let's run the application and check. Yeah, the application is working uh, completely successfully. So now, now uh, create the database layer. So for database layer, uh, right click on your project and uh, add your uh, class. And the class name is a database layer or database access part. Uh, you want to type here that is the is the uh, name of your database layer so database layer and uh, press the add button and then public so for the connection we have required this kml connection so now for uh, do for this kml connection we are using the namespace so the namespace is system dot data the one is data and the another one the data is for the uh, data table or for data set now system dot data dot SQL client so these both uh, uh, namespaces we are using here so create uh, inside the class so now create the public static SQL connection and then con enter and create the method for creating this SQL connection so static SQL connection return type in the uh, method name is connection open so now here uh, uh, check uh, if the connection is already created or already already created so then not create or not created mean it's null so then create the connection so connection is equal to new SQL connection and then uh, here we are providing the connection string uh, uh, this, this one we are using the second one the overload method uh, connection string so the connection string is uh, 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 go to the tools uh, connect to database and then write here the SQL your uh, server name which is uh, you can get uh, the server name from here so now copy the name from here and then copy but uh, we have already know our server name so then uh, I type here so now this is the SQL server name and we are using and I'm using the windows uh, authentication and then type here uh, or click on uh, this drop down button once the database is, is loaded then select your database uh, 
our database uh, is uh, this one okay now test the connection and if the connection is succeeded then click on the advanced and copy this connection string Control c and then cancel okay and now uh, before that uh, write the uh, right and then click and then paste the connection string so this is our connection string okay then check if if connection dot state if the state is not equal to connection state dot open then open the the connection state so con dot state so con dot open sorry then open the connection state so then con dot open so the connection state will be marked as a open and then return the connection okay so this is the method where where the connections will be created okay so then go to and create the method for the inserting data into a database means n tables so public static uh, uh, boolean and then uh, insert and then write here the string query and then go to here and uh, try catch uh, and then return false here false indicate the record is not inserted in the database and true uh, is the, the mark which means the data is inserted into the database so uh, for inserting data means for apply the command inside on the SQL server you use the SQL command sorry command okay so command and then create the instance of the SQL command class so cmd is equal to new and then we uh, use the third uh, one constructor the third one uh, constructor of this class we get the, these five are the um, overloaded constructor of this SQL command class so we are using the third one overloaded constructor here so query comma and then the provide the connection so here we are get the, the connection back from this uh, method so now copy the name of this method and uh, terminate the statements means mark as a through uh, right uh, semicolon and then cmd but any return we are getting uh, how many records are affected uh, inside in this database so then we are writing here the uh, integer and number of a uh, number of record affected okay so is equal to and then cmd dot execute non query means the execute non query return the numbers of record which is which affect inside on the database through this query okay so this non non number of record affected uh, are stored the, the those number so then uh, we check the fo number of records is greater than zero so it means the data is inserted successfully in the database means successfully in the tables so then we are return the true it means the data is a store otherwise if not then return false so it means the data is not inserted in the table so then now copy this math from this method and then uh, but uh, here we are uh, insert okay so now copy the another one and just change the name of this is update then paste here the another one and just delete then paste here and write the retrieve so in retrieve method we are getting the record mean yeah mark is a select method okay so through this methods we are returning we are getting data from the database so here we are getting data in the form of data table okay in the form of row and columns means and data table so now create here the uh, data table a dt uh, variable and then a dt and then right here uh, is the SQL data adapter. For data retrieving, we are using the we are using the SQL data adapter, not the SQL command. Okay, so here is the D uh, A data adapter, 
and then um, here is the SQL data adapter and then the, here we are also using the uh, third one uh, constructor overloaded constructor of the SQL data adapter class so now here uh, uh, it's uh, the D, D, A, uh, D A dot fill DT okay so now once the data is returned back it will get the data and then it store in the this data table so here dt is equal to new data table okay so it's fill the the data inside and in this data table it means rows and rows and columns like so once we are execute here the a query so the data will be uh, the data is showing here the rows and columns so these rows and columns are stored inside in this data table so once it's complete then uh, we, uh, okay once any exception or any error generator inside this uh, in these statements then it's return null it means hey, we have no return no known data okay so and now return the data Okay, return the DT. In case of if DT is equal to equal to null, then return null. Else if DT dot rows dot count greater than zero, then return the DT. Otherwise, return null. Okay. I'll remove this it doesn't matter return now okay so that is the database access layer through this database access layer we are perform the crude operation inside a database means insert update deletes and retrieve so now go to your database and uh, uh, project based accounting management TV. ERD diagram. Okay, now add the product category. Okay, now add uh, the uh, and today class we are implementing the uh, category tables. So go to here and write uh, uh, and go to here and create the folder for forms so the forms and then right clear inside this form and add the, the another is a stock forms all the stock form uh, are here okay so now uh, right here uh, and add the form form ktg and then press the add button and then uh, resize the form okay and now go to here and change the name of uh, stock category and then uh, go to here and it's open on center screen the form will open on center screen go to the programs and write and type the form name is uh, frm category okay now the namespace is uh, imported here if not imports in write manually but the namespace namespace is necessary okay okay so go to the category and uh, create us in uh, okay so go to the category form and uh, click this and go to the toolbox if the toolbox is not here then go to the view and click on the toolbox so now the toolbox is this okay so uh, get the uh, panel the panel and go to the select the panel and go to the properties and then go to the dock properties and uh, dock it's on the top and change the name of this uh, so the now the panel color uh, Okay, leave it design which we design later. So now uh, get the label, 
variable is a category enter category name enter category I didn't get the text box and go to the font and set the size of the font is 10 I'll get the one uh, panel the panel and uh, go to the property the dock property and dock it on the right side okay the right side and then get the this and paste here one uh, go to the category and uh, increase the size of this okay now go to the panel and change the background uh, back color of this uh, panel okay once uh, in the uh, copy uh, from this the copy the label here and uh, type here the uh, stock category okay this is the stock category sorry select this and uh, set the font size font size is 20 I know the 20 is so bigger so now write 18 and 18 is also and now write the 16 okay the 16 one is good so click on the board and then go to the size the design see and then uh, select your favorite design my favorite is this one right here the 15 15 14 <laughs> 13 I think 13 one is uh, cool so here yeah, and to track the buttons so the button this button is uh, now go to the button and set the size of these buttons is flat and uh, the button uh, is size is uh, no 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 it's 10 okay and then set the size of this button and also is the cell using for inserting data and now this is the btn cell so once uh, and uh, change the back color of this cell is i mean the success color so success color is a uh, to the web and um uh, select color for success is a uh, uh, this one is good no no this one is not good uh, now select this one it's so dark so now light one so uh, go to the flat and then uh, select the pop up the nee, flat one and uh, okay so now uh, remove the border of this button so go to the select the button and go to the this and uh, mark is zero okay and now type the uh, button uh, for color is white okay so this is the cell button and now the next the, this but uh, okay and now this button is btn for clear and this button clear the form so now clear and the uh, color of clear for button is a uh, mm, to here and type the this one color okay and then control c control v and for then this uh, that uh, this button is for update so btn update and right here the update and the update color is uh, this one okay and now this is the cancel so cancel means the updation scans cancellation button so btn cancel and the color cancel is um, maybe danger okay so 
this is these are the uh, buttons uh, through you perform the cloud operation so means for inserting updation and so on and uh, here we are uh, getting the uh, grid view so grid view data grid view and this grid data grid view we are showing the record which is inside in the table so dgv and uh, dgv and go to the background color of dgv is uh, this one no not this one this one okay and now uh, select the dgv and go to the dock property and the dock property is here so now it's dock uh, and bottom now drag uh, it's here okay now get the uh, text box i'll copy uh, control z remove this one now copy this text box and paste here and select the text box and uh, dock it in a bottom okay sorry not in a form means in the top of this uh, grid view okay and, uh, and this text box is the search text box so txt search means for filtering so the text box search and then here we are uh, we give the panel here select this panel and top and uh, and dock in the top and the top select this button uh, uh, means this text box and reduce the size which is 14 and then select this okay or select this uh, panel and uh, the height will be at the side will be 30 okay so now select the panel and uh, now change the back color the back color will be a black mm, black or maybe uh, this one okay so uh, select the degree also and remove the editing uh, allow user to add rows and so on so now allow user to add row false mm. uh, multi selection false read only true mm. the row header visible false mm. uh, selection mode is full row selected and now it's done okay now go to the home form and copy the close minimize these buttons okay so now copy this button control c and uh, paste here okay so now these button okay select this button and uh, go to here and select the uh, icon Here we have not the icon for close uh, this one. This icon for so now then select the and select the back, uh, back color is for gray or okay, it's good. So now it's complete. Uh, maybe select the uh, black one not good black one not this one copy the color of this panel so now copy this one select this banner uh, panel and then paste here the color mm, okay and then run one uh, run duplication so now you will see the category so now remove this border mean this cross close we are using this button for closing or for so on okay so now click on this button and this dot close 
the close is used for the current context you want to close and application data is you want to close all the application okay so uh, click on this minimize and copy this code and go to the category form and click on and paste here okay and then copy this code uh, not this one uh, minimize okay so now okay copy this with the category and paste on here okay so now run the application and check the button is working yeah, button is working good and close but here we are not using this button okay so now remove this button and now select the form and remove the border so for removing the border go to the form border style and set is n none okay once you run the application now you get the form so now uh, i want to move the form also game okay? so now close the form and uh, go to the home form and copy the code control c this and uh, go to the category and go to the initial and now set the name of the upper panel means panel bar so now copy the panel bar name and set the name of this panel is panel bar okay and now copy the this below code and go to the category form and paste the code here and uh, now import the namespace and now run the application so now the application is moving the form is moving okay so close and now go to and uh, save the uh, go to the code here and now create the methods so we'll do the method for uh, retrieving the record so private uh, private white fail grade so the string value means search value and then here is the uh, string query is equal to select go to the category form and copy the category id comma and then copy the category name okay and from category table so go to the tables and copy the name of the category table okay and now f search value f string that is null or empty the search value means it's null or empty so then not null or empty so then the result f is not null or empty so then the query will be the query will be where the category name like a percent and then plus and then search value dot trim okay so now then the query will be this one okay so now here the data table dt and now they execute the query so database layer dot retrieve okay select method okay so now select and then the query pass the query and then uh, the dgv dot data source is equal to dt so now copy the method or maybe you want to set the column width or height and so on so then you must be check the dt or not or null so then go to the um, F 
dt is not equal to null then set the dgv data source okay and uh, f of f of uh, dt dot rows dot count if it's greater than zero then set the columns okay otherwise you will generate the exceptions and you will get the error or you will get the exceptions okay so d data dot rows dot counter is greater than zero uh, so the dgv dot columns dot columns zero dot width is equal to um, 80 means this column is the uh, category id and now for the second the second one is a category name so for the category name we are set uh, the weight is um, 150 or 200 200 okay so and otherwise if the any exception are generated so select the code and uh, go to the snap and uh, surrounded with try catch okay and now press the enter button so now remove this this and set the dgv data source is it's been done okay means the the uh, the record will be removed by the data source the dgv data source is equal to none so this is the fill grader method so now right click and uh, do the designer and then um, I'll go to the text change and now txt txt search dot text dot trim and uh, then uh, fill uh, copy the method and um, this uh, select this uh, means go, uh, view go to the um, other windows and select the documents of client okay and then select the form then go to the properties then click on the uh, events and then click on the load button and then also paste here and this will be uh, string dot empty so once the form is open the once the form is open uh, the all thing will be loaded successfully yeah means the record will be loaded the categories will be retrieved from the database and showing inside this grid view so we go to the um, save and uh, save the record so for uh, if, if the text box is empty so here we want to show some indicator to say to show the message that uh, please enter the uh, category name okay so for that we are using the we will use the uh, error provider so that click on the error provider select this this error provider from here and uh, go to this one and uh, properties and uh, set the name of this uh, uh, error provider is uh, ep and now click on the cell and then first clear the ep and then f o t x t uh, sorry uh, go to again in there and uh, set the name of this text box is um, t x t category name and then the txt category name dot text dot trim dot length is equal to equal to zero then ep dot set error uh, um, txt category name and then please enter category title and then txt category name dot dot, dot purpose and then uh, return after that if uh, then uh, uh, create the query for um, the mean check if the category title is already present in the database or not so then a uh, the data table dt or check the exist exist dt is equal to database layer or dot retrieve dot select sorry and uh, select steric from category table so now the category table is here mm, from the category table and then check means where 
the category name is uh, present already in the database so then retrieve it so once it's stripped the record so it means the category title is already exists so then uh, check the exist is not equal to knowledge so it means the record is and then check exist dot rows dot counts so it means the record is already in a database so then ep dot set the error and uh, txt near the txt category txt category name uh, and uh, showing the it's already exist and already exist okay and then the txt dot focus and then a txt select all means selections and then return after that if not exist in database then string can create the insert query is equal to these all uh, steps are the validation step okay so now here is the insert into sorry uh, uh, use the string dot format and then the insert into a category table uh, space and then write the columns values column and then values and pass the values so txt category name dot text dot trim okay so now uh, boolean result is equal to database if the result is true so it means the record is inserted so um, copy the insert query and paste here means pass as an argument and now if the result is equal to equal to true so then show the message message box dot show uh, category self successfully a category registered successfully are inserted successfully what message you want to um, are registered they are removed the category means was registered successfully uh, so now uh, retrieve all the records so fail grade and pass the string dot int okay and txt category name dot clear and uh, in case of any exception is generate right click and surrounded with try cage so in that case you will show you will show the um, message some unexpected issue is occur please try again so some unexpected issue is occur please try again okay and now run the application and check the category here is inserted or not uh, sorry, the object reference not to the instance of the object. So, um, to here. Okay, sorry. Uh, if the connection string is uh, not okay, then create. Once the application is run, then type here the category name. So, means the category name is a cool drink cool train okay and now click on the show button so the record is success inserted successfully but the kt in this one is so the width is uh, greater than from the category name so now remove and uh, go to the from category and set the width okay one and also set the title of this column is id and uh, for this one is the category and also for this is the ID and for this one is uh, a category so now run the application again so now you will see here the ID and the category 
but uh, I want to cover all the space of this column. This column cover all the space, so then we will set it to the auto size mode is equal to auto size mode dot fill, and then run again the form. So now we will see here the space. This is covered, but uh, if I want to search here any record, it is not working. Okay. Select this, come to here and type okay run and then okay. So now here we will control X and paste here. Okay. And now run again. Uh, if uh, I check, okay, so now it's not. If I type the cool, so the record will be present. Okay, now we are at the other means like other category. Now we sell. So once you um, write the cool, and write the drink, and I write the other, so the uh, it is the filtering. And the clear update and cancel. So now go to and uh, implement the uh, clear button. So the clear button is uh, uh, txt category name dot clear. Okay. So this is the clear. And now create the two methods for disable and enabling the components. So private white um, enables components. So the enable components is uh, uh, btn btn uh, cancel dot enable is sorry dot visible dot visible is equal to true and uh, btn no, update dot visible is equal to true and uh, btn uh, save dot visible is equal to false btn clear dot visible is equal to false then uh, dgv dot enable is equal to false this is also the validation and then the txt search dot enable is equal to false okay now copy this method and is that this app a reset components okay so uh, now change the true to false and false to true is the false is it true and also here the fill grade method call the fill grade method which is this one. string dot in okay so and here uh, we uh, need we need a uh, uh, so for clear is the reset all the reset on components and for editing we are uh, doing uh, uh, we are implementing uh, writing the codes on update so now copy all the code of the uh, save button and paste on ins inside these two braces means the body the body of update uh, click one button so now change some uh, necessary changes so now also check here and uh, and uh, and uh, category id and category id is not equal to dgv dot rows dgv dot selected rows zero dot index okay and now dot cell zero dot value means this is the id of the selected row selected record id so this is the uh, column and this is the index of uh, current uh, row so now also use update here so update update category table and set the name category name is uh, equal to and uh, where category ID is equal to this one. 
So now copy this. And then comma and paste here. So okay, and changes to the update category. Update category and copy this and paste here and changes to the update method to update. And now update it successfully. So okay, so now uh, so now uh, before the uh, updated button we right click on the list and select the record from this grid view so for that we will use the context menu strip means context menu strip so now select on construct menu strip and click on edit okay edit so now click on the edit and check f dgv not equal to null then check f dgv dot rows dot count means it's greater than from zero then check f dgv dot selected rows dot count if it's greater than from zero no greater than not it's from equal to equal to one means one record are selected then f message box dot show Are you sure you want to update selected category and comma and then confirmation then comma message box start button dot yes now then comma message box Uh, okay, message box dot icon dot question mark, and if the dialog result is yes, then go to here and a txt category name dot text is equal to dgv dot rows dot dgv dot selected records selected row 0 dot index uh, dot index and dot cell cell 1 dot value and dot to string okay and here is the enable components method call it okay Otherwise, if not, then uh, and else show the message box. Message box dot show. Please select one record. Okay. And now run the application again. So once uh, we want to uh, uh, change is other oh, but it's not showing the context menu. So close and set to the context menu strip to this grid view. So select this, select the grid view, go to the property and uh, come to the context menu strip property and select this context menu strip. Okay, so now go to this and set the context menu strip and run the application again. Okay, so now right click and click on the edit. So are you sure you want to update select category? So it's other and then click on the update. So it's updated, but it's not working. So now close, click the update button, and uh, here call the reset components and remove this fill grid. And then select these two button and they change the visible property to false. and drag it here and run the application again so once you right click on the click on the edit so then these two button are visible and you want to cancel so okay cancel so 
this is the uh, today task which is complete in this video now in coming video you are implementing the stock form